Hello everyone. Uh, today we are looking at AI characters again in Unreal. I'm sorry it took me so long to get back to this, but lots of things going on lately, of course. Um, so last time, in the last video, we were looking at the animation blueprint, which we have here. And there was one major thing I left out of that video, so I want to do that here. And then in the next video, we'll dive totally into the blueprint of the AI, of the character, and um, get into that. Uh, you know, the major reason why I'm doing this is because a few of you have asked or been excited about more videos around um, blueprints. And, uh, but I'm a little bit reluctant to do that because I'm not an expert in blueprints. I'm mostly a character and animator. Um, but of course, I am learning all this stuff. Um, so why, you know, while this stuff is pretty fresh in my brain, um, I don't mind passing it along as long as everyone understands that I'm not uh, an expert in blueprints or anything like that, okay? Um, uh, on top of that all, I don't think it's a bad because, you know, people who are experts or coders or things like that, they might talk in a language that you, might be confusing to people. So I, I think there is value in... Uh, character artists showing people how to deal with blueprints because I really do love blueprints. I think as an artist, it, it, it really helps me to think about all the things, the animations that I need, how uh, they flow into each other and stuff. And I can just come into Unreal and just set up all those transitions and how it's going to work myself and work it out in my brain so that the customer or whoever buys the animal already has that set up for them, you know. So I think it really does help me to know all this stuff or to at least have some understanding of it all. But today, um, I just want to show and tidy up the animation blueprint that we worked on before because uh, there's one key aspect. And I kind of wanted to show, I think I kind of messed up a little bit. Um, it could matter. It might not matter. Before, I just had this set up to um, if you go from left turn to idle or any turn to something else. Uh, you just have to trigger whatever the um, enum uh, label is. Uh, but that might not be totally true for, sp for idling or going into the movement, um, uh, the movement uh, state. Uh, so I just added a little speed if speed is equal zero and it's in roam mode then we go to idle so that's the only real difference in the in the blueprints i hope that didn't confuse anybody either <laughs> but that's just from going from a turn into something else basically or the idle specifically because it needs to be zero or if it's going into movement movement is another one because the speed needs to be above zero. Of course, we covered a lot of this in the last video. But the part we did not cover, okay, right now we're working within the anim graph, okay? If we double click this, we get this state machine node, which opens up into the whole graph of everything, okay? The other option we have on the left is the event graph. Okay, now this is more the blueprint side of the an, an, animation graph. Now, you can do these. The, the thing about Unreal is there's just so, well, in any platform, really, uh, there's just so many different ways to do things. Okay, so that's why I kind of don't mind showing you guys all this because this is just one way to do it. Okay, 
Um, if this helps you to understand how everything works, then it's, you know, it's, it's worth it to me, or at least. Um, okay, so this is the event graph. So this is a blueprint, a, basically a blueprint. And uh, this is just setting up, setting the speed and the direction. Okay, so we're going to go through this real quickly in a brand new graph. So it, it'll be something that similar to what you're going to see. Okay, so let's, um, I'm going to put this off to the side so I have it as a reference. Because again, I'm not an expert in this, um, in this stuff. So this is more like one that you're going to see. Okay, if you click on the event uh, blueprint you're gonna get something like this and this is just you know some basic nodes that they set up you know by default um, we don't really need that one depending on how you you're doing this in the game but we're, I'm just adding this part to this blueprint because it makes sense to the animation blueprint just to set the speed and the direction in here so that in my uh, blueprint my other blueprint I then I'm setting up all the logic for the character and why he does what he does okay so we're just gonna set the speed and direction here and of course we need we set these variables so we're gonna pull these variables out and we're gonna set set direction and then set speed to set set speed there we go and we're going to pull out from here, connect here, and then connect there. So, we're setting them, but, you know, we don't want to set them to zero necessarily. Um, so, we're going to pull out from here. And we're going to type in vector length. Vector, vector length. Right there. Okay, so now we have an X, Y, Z length, and we'll want to pull off here and go get velocity, get velocity, uh, am I spelling that wrong, get vector. Why am I not seeing this? Maybe I should... Uh, try this in the open. Um, try get pawn owner. Let's do this. And then we're going to pull off here and go get velocity. Get velocity there we go and then we can plug that in there and we'll pull off here and go get actor get actor get actor rotation right there and pull off here Oh no, we probably, we got to go up to direction. So direction we want to pull off and say cal, calculate, calculate direction. Okay. And then we're already getting velocity so we can plug in velocity there and then plug in your rotation there. So there we go, speed and direction, all set up. And then if we hit compile, we should get it looking like this. So that's basically how you set up setting speed and direction in the um, animation blueprint. So let's save that probably want to save your project also uh, but let's open up the blueprint and we'll take a look at what uh, the next video is kind of going to be or be about 
Now this is the super, well, I wouldn't call it super advanced. <laughs> uh, there's more I want to do and more I want to get into, but um, this is the blueprint logic of how the animal uh, roams around. Now the one we do is going to be real basic, but with that little little bit of knowledge, you can add an unlimited array of options for them to roam into. Uh, you just have to keep some kind of basic concepts um, uh, implemented uh, so that you can keep track of things. And the you, you know the some of the coolest things about working in Unreal is that you know the visual nature of everything that goes on. When I hit play in a scene, well, I sh probably shouldn't do it to this one, but let me um, do the original, I'll show you. So this is the, the uh, crazy uh, animation blueprint, but let's say I'm in a scene and I want to watch uh, my, the original bear that I set down on the ground. Now we can watch all of his transitions and what he decides to do in the animation blueprint. So if, you know, we set up the character and now, um, you know, now you're testing it and you're trying to make sure that everything is working properly. Well, one part of the equation might be the animation blueprint. Maybe you set something wrong. Maybe something uh, has the, uh, the wrong animation, you know, in it or whatever. He's doing the wrong thing at the wrong time. Um, well, those kinds of things are going to be in your animation blueprint. So here I can literally watch the scene and watch what that bear is doing. And I can see when, uh, you know, if I realize that uh, he's doing something funky when he's sitting, well, then I can sit here and watch him go through that process, you know, and see where and when the failure happens. So it, be, it just makes it so much easier, especially for an artist who wants everything to be visual, to um, understand what's going on with your character. You know, here we can see uh, him jumping between turning and movement. Now he's going to idle, you know, and so now he's in all the idle animations. But we can see all of that stuff happen. And the same thing applies to looking at the um, blueprint. So now I can choose this um, bear and now I can, I can watch all his decisions happening and when they're happening. And if there is a problem and something triggers wrongly, I can literally zoom in and watch it happen in real time. So it's a good way, I mean, you talk about debug features, this is just like how Unreal works. So this is why it's so great. But anyways, I'll just keep rambling on about this stuff. In the next video, we will jump into a blueprint and we will create all of the basic logic for uh, an animal or most things. Have a good one, everyone.